What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with a very interesting video, man. We have done this video in the past, but I think it's time we update it. We gotta update this video because I've actually been quite... I've asked, been asked quite a bit, man. I've been asked quite a bit. I got asked a lot over San Diego Comic-Con weekend, actually, which is why I wanted to get on here and make an updated video about this, man. If you guys watch the channel any length of time, I don't know if I do it every single video. Somebody needs to do the stats on that. It'd probably take an entire team of scientists to really break down the entire history of it, and it would take... It would take a long time, but go back through every single video that I've ever posted and see if I've used the term Brad or the phrase Brad or any sort of Brad style deal. How many times have I said Brad on the channel, man? I mean, it's got to be, it's almost every video. I know it's every video now or lately or over the last few years. Probably in the first year, probably took a minute to get into it, right? Because I, I feel like in the first beginning of the channel, it sounded like every video I had a freaking gunman off camera pointing a blaster right at my freaking dome. I mean, I sounded so damn uncomfortable. It was awful. Nonetheless, Thank God that's over. But today, man, we're going to be diving into the story or or why I say Brad on the channel. Why do I say Brad? What's the point of it? What's the origin? What is the Brad lore on the MDT YouTube channel? We're going to dive into that today. We're going to dive into that today, Brad, quote unquote. We're going to dive into it, man. So let's, let's shut the hell up and dive into the story of Brad. So if you've ever wondered, stick around to the end to find out. Now we have to throw this thing back all the way back to a young wee lad, right? We got to go back to a young Trey, a young Trey in the heart of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. That is where I'm from. If you guys didn't know, I'm from Alabama. Tuscaloosa to be exact. Tuscaloosa, Alabama, the 205. Living in Tuscaloosa my entire life, if you if you live in Tuscaloosa or you grew up in this area, man, you're big on sports. You're big on sports. You love football. Yeah, Football's the main sport, right? Football's like what we love. Football's our main love. If you guys were unaware, Tuscaloosa, Alabama is the home of the University of Alabama. And at the University of Alabama, they have a long history, long traditional history of being successful at college football. So college football is king in Tuscaloosa. Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And so when you're a little kid growing up, you are, if you're an athlete, if you have athletic ability, you are, you know, you're sort of like bred into a football player. I mean, that's kind of where it is, man. That's where all of the, you know, the town's shut down for, for high school sports. Everybody's huge into it. You have rivalries. You have all these different things. So growing up, loving sports and being involved, always loved competition, always loved athletics. Football and basketball are my sports. I mean, I played baseball and things of that nature as well. And I love comp competition in general, man. If I'm playing you in checkers, I want to be the hell out of you in checkers, you know what I'm saying? But football and basketball are my top two right there. I, I mean, I just I just love it, man. In season, there's always college football, basketball, NBA, or NFL on my television. That and YouTube are my two main sources of watching things. If it's not sports, it's YouTube. That's that's how I live, Brad. So growing up, I played youth sports, whatever. So when you're growing up watching sports, what what is it? What is about the thing? I mean, this kind of goes hand in hand in wrestling as well. But what is a big presentation part of sports on TV and wrestling on TV? It is the commentary, correct? So growing up watching sports and wrestling, Jim Ross and King. I mean, we had so many legendary pairings on ESPN and all different sports channels of that nature, which we'll get into at the end. But growing up watching a lot of sports, I saw a lot of commentary. Right? I always loved the commentary, loved sports, all these different things. So fast forward to middle school. At the middle school level, we had three different basketball teams and in the middle school. You had the girls team, you had the seventh grade team, and you had the eighth grade team. So the seventh and eighth grade teams were the boys teams. The seventh graders played together and the eighth graders played together and they played different schools. So anytime we would have a game set up, at the games there would be three different games. You'd have the girls game first, you'd have the seventh graded game second, and then you'd have the eighth graders game the third. This is basketball. Because in football there's only one football game. So during the girls, the girls would start me and my friends would sit in the bleachers and wait for our game to come on, right? Me and my friends would sit in the bleachers and wait for our game, you know? We'd wait to go to the locker room. We would wait and prepare for our game. And while we were watching the girls play, watching the eighth grade team play, we would sit in the stands and we would mock commentate the games. We would, you know, we would just be mocking and joking between each other. Well, when we're doing that, I would act like a professional commentator. I would use the same commentary voice that I use in the pick fed. Anytime I'm doing commentary stuff like that, you're like, well, Brad, we have to come out here and we got to get it going. So that's what I'm talking about. But that really doesn't explain who Brad is. Well, the Brad, the actual Brad that it is, his name is Brad Nestler. Brad Nestler is a commentator and a huge college football personality that was on TV my entire childhood. Hood, and even now, he's actually on TV currently calling on CBS this year. And I always talk about him on Instagram. I'll say, you know, Brad's live right now. You guys can go listen to him. He's absolutely excellent. He's a legendary. He's my favorite commentator of all time. He's absolutely beautiful. And what's funny about that is when I would do the commentary voice, I would refer to my partner as Brad, even though I was mocking and commentating 
like Brad Nessler. So I was kind of pretending to be Brad, but I was referring to my partner as Brad. And it's Brad Nessler. That is who that is. So leaving the seventh grade, when I went on to eighth grade, I did the same thing with my friends. We would commentate. We would mock commentate. This isn't live commentary. This is a dumb joke that I had with my friends. We would sit in the stands as a seventh grader, commentate, quote unquote, air quotes, commentate the girls game. And then in seventh grade, we would, you know, commentate the girls game. And then in the eighth grade, we'd come and take the seventh grade game until then. And then when we fast forward to high school, you know, you have the JV and you have the varsity in basketball. Well, during the JV game, me being on varsity would commentate the JV games. We would commentate the girls games. And that went all the way through high school. So then doing these mock commentaries kind of played into the channel. It, it carried over into the channel. So when we did commentary for the pick fed, I used the same voice and the same mannerisms and that same stupid joke referring to my partner as Brad. And I think it's on like the first episode ever that we ever commented. We never like practiced commentated, man. I knew that I could just get in there in the booth and clap it up and be natural. So we never really tested it. So the first time that we were, I want to say it's the first episode. We get it going and I refer to my partner as Brad and I want to say he like mumbles under his breath who the hell is Brad? And I don't think that was the first time I used it on the channel. I want to say I'd used it in reviews and stuff like that, but now it has become just an integral part of the channel. It's become an inside joke. I mean, my, my MDT jersey that I wear to events and stuff like that has Brad on the back. So it's just become this whole entire thing. I mean, I need to meet Brad Nestler, and I need to take a selfie with him, or I need to, I need to, I, I have to meet him. I have to meet him. If I, you, you guys, not everybody watching this is a college football fan, or not everybody watching this is a sports fan. I hope there's at least a few people out there that know that who the hell this is and can relate to it and want to uh, check him out because he's so fantastic, man. Even if you don't even know what's going on, man, he's just, uh, he's such a joy to listen to, and he's great, man. But he is, uh, that is who it is. It's Brad Nestler. You guys need to. YouTube. I'm not going to plug YouTube clips of him talking here because every time I do that, it gets demonetized. They always demonetize and block the video every single time I plug in a clip of Brad Nestler. So I'm just going to let you guys Google it or tune into college football, which starts in like two and a half weeks. We will finally have college football season back and all those different things. But I wanted to get on here and touch on it, man. So it is, it is Brad Nestler. So when you, when you, every, the next time I say, well, Brad, but the thing is, is that's where it references. But when I say Brad, I'm literally just making a stupid reference style joke that only a few people on the planet get but now you guys will be in on it and you will understand why I, why I say Brad or why I call you guys Brad it's been a thing it's always been a thing I mean I refer to my friends as Brad it, before the channel I would do the same thing it was no different I'm like ah, I don't think so Brad and it is so dumb I know it's dumb I know it's stupid but it's just something that I've always done I wanted to I, I had it I got asked that so many times out in San Diego comic-con that I was like you know what I need to do an updated video of this on the channel so I figured I would get on here touch on it a little bit and I hope it made sense I hope that everything I just delivered to you makes sense in some matter but if it doesn't I apologize because I'm a stupid idiot moron but I think that's pretty much gonna wrap up the video man I hope you guys did enjoy you know the the, the lore the Brad lore the history of Brad here on the channel but it's just that commentating voice Brad and it may be similar to like a sort and, uh, and it may be very similar to the delivery that I usually have but I don't know man I, I refer to it as like kind of the commentary voice there but nonetheless before we get out of here I want to give a huge shout out to our patron army always appreciate those guys you guys are absolute goats. If you guys are interested in becoming Patreon members, click the link in the description below, of course. Still constantly updating the office and trying to get everything moved out little by little as we go, but I want to get on here and give the Brad story before, you know. I want to get on here and update with Brad who the hell he was and everything like that, man. So hopefully some of you guys know who he is, and if you do know who he is, you gotta let me know what you think about him down below. Who's your favorite college football or sports commentator for that matter? Of course, there's plenty. Joe Tessitore is another beautiful soul that I love to listen to, but Brad is my goat. And I, I want to meet him. I want to honestly get a standee, like, you know, one of those cardboard cutouts. I want to get one of those for the office or something like that to put up because I think it'd be hilarious. Like, how sick would it be to get, like, a picture with Brad and have him autograph it, man? I mean, my God, this must take place. This is, this is such a funny thing because it's just this guy and he has no idea the reach that this man has. Of course, he's, like, a college football fans know him across the nation, but the meaning he has to my channel, he'd probably be like, what the hell are you even talking about, son? But you know what? It keeps me going. That's one of my life goals. I gotta meet Brad Nestler. Nonetheless, I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think of the Brad lore down in the comment section below, and I will see you guys next time. Have a blessed one. I'll see you later.